Looking for cheap and affordable MLB The Show 24 stubs? Check out U4GM and use code CAP for 5% off. Link in description. Yo, what is going on guys? We have a stub making about the video for you guys here. Before we get into it, I do want to say I appreciate the support in the last video. Um, we didn't hit the goal of 15 likes for another video a day after, but like I said, either way, I'm trying to post videos every other day. So I do appreciate the ones who did watch last video. And I also did explain how in last video how this game is kind of going through like a rough moment right now. So I really don't mind losing any viewers. I don't really do this for views. I'm just, if I see lack of viewership, I'll just stop making something. It's not because I'm not making, like getting views off it or making money off it. It's just solely off the fact of if no one's going to watch it, then why post it? But there's still some of you guys watching these. So I will continue to post these until you guys literally will stop watching these. Uh, like I said, I do not care about the views. I care about, you know, helping the people I am helping right now. So, uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet, I would appreciate if you guys did. Um, I'm also going to be doing a giveaway when I hit 12,000 subscribers. I'm going to be giving away three fifty dollars gift cards. One for Xbox, one for PlayStation, one for Steam. All you guys got to do to enter that is just like, comment, subscribe. Just pretty much be active on the channel. Uh, eventually, when I think Madden comes out or whatever, I'm going to start streaming again. Even the new 2K and all that. So, if you guys want to, you know, maybe catch a stream sometime in the future, follow my Twitch. Definitely gonna start streaming over there again, uh, you know, starting soon. But uh, yeah, enough of you know all that yapping and stuff. Let's get straight into this stub method video. There's not honestly too many stub methods in this game. You know, there, there really never has been in like MLB the Show. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, there's ways to make stubs doing anything in this game. Just like there's ways to make coins and and Madden like anyway, pretty much. But I'm not gonna sit here and compare games. But in a game like Madden, you have re-rolls, you know, you can actually pull different players out of packs and all this other shit. These, they have, like, these type of sets and shit that you can, like, repeat and all that. Like, there's multiple ways to make coins. This game, it's not really. Like, you have, like, these same exchange, like, packs. You know, people do change as, like, live cards and all that. But these exchanges are nothing like the sets in, like, Madden that we get that we can abuse and all that. So, I just want everyone to know that when you're watching these, do not expect to hear, like, a brand new, like some type of method that you probably not have heard of this is like when we're playing mlb the show i just want you guys to know that most of these methods have already been like explored or if they haven't then you know then that's usually a crazy method but you know as of right now there's not really anything that people don't know of like i said in the last video i'm really kind of just still flipping cards um <clears throat> the best thing when you flip cards I do want to say this right now because I'm not going to just like, oh, flip cards. Like, I'm going to give you guys advice. That's what I mean by this. Like, I'm not going to just half-ass give you guys methods. When I do give you guys methods, I want to explain it to you as best as I can. So, when you guys do flip cards, like, look for value on the buy now and sell now. You guys want to look for, like, a, a good gap. Like, this has a good gap right here, but to prove if it's a good card to flip or not, you want to click on it. And then, as you guys can see, if you go look on the left side and all the way on the bottom, he went from 34887 to 32,640 so clearly he's having some problems selling or something like that and his and his value is dropping so i mean it's it seems to be like he would be still you know a decent flip if i was to pull this off like i said we don't even know if this is his real value right now uh he could drop all down to 27k like within like the next hour or something so you know what i mean like that's something you yourself are gonna have to decide if you want to take the risk on that i usually don't take risks on cards like that um I usually take risks on cards like this is this one's not that bad because see 31,998 it's like it's still in the 31,000 it's like yeah it's barely in there but uh he doesn't seem like he's dropping too much value so you know with a card like this I would just try to create a buy order like let's see honestly if you were to try to get someone like him You'd want to get it for like twenty four thousand seven fifty, because this is all about doing this like very quick. You don't want to when you win these cards. You don't want to like try to get this shit for like twenty four thousand like six thirty. The reason why I say that is because first off, like you're only overcutting by five, and there's a high chance someone else is gonna overcut, and it's not probably gonna be by five. It might be by more. Cause we're not in like the like just low thousands like we're up here in like the twenty thousands now so you know what i mean people are gonna start overcutting by like a couple hundred because who cares about like you know 100 stubs or whatever when you're gonna be flipping this and if we were to get this for you know twenty four thousand seven hundred, obviously that's how much we spent and i would sell i would try to sell it off real quick for like you know 
30,500 and I would get back, you know, 3,000 stub profit. Why the hell would I care about losing like 100, you know, 100 stubs into my profit when it just helps me do it quicker? So yeah, I would just create the buy order, you know, 24,750. Boom. And then I would just scroll through and keep looking for other cards. And if I won him, then what I would do is I would flip him, like I just said, for like 30,500. And then boom, I made 3,000 stubs. Then I moved down. This large new bar looks like a pretty good card right here. And I do I do remember I did flip him um, last season, actually. So, this card was actually pretty good to flip, like, at the end of last season. And it still looks pretty like a pretty good card to flip. Same thing here, honestly. If you want to win this quick, just do, like, you know, 24,000, you know, 250 or something like that. And then that's how much the seller will get, whatever. You're spending 24,000. Then you, if you want it, I would sell it off for like you know thirty thirty thousand seven fifty, and another three thousand you know stuff profit. So that's pretty much like one of the number one things I've been doing in this game right now is just uh, you know flipping cards pretty much. And I've been doing the exchange method, but uh, you know we exchange, we explained the exchange method last video. So if you guys want to hear anything about the exchange method, go check that out. I explained it you know probably as best as possible in the last video. Uh, I might go over it again in a couple days if it gets any better, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today's stuff making method video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, I have another video for you guys out tomorrow if you guys hit 15 likes on this. If not, then I have another video the day after. Peace out.